Hey everyone, in this lesson we're going to be talking about multiplayer in Unity and Photon and how they actually work and all the different things that you'll really need before we actually get started. So the first thing is, what sort of multiplayer is there in Unity? Well, Unity used to have their own multiplayer uh, network. If you're if you're listening, if you're watching this course sometime around early 2019, um, then UNet, which is Unity's old Unity networking framework, it is now deprecated. Um, so we won't be able to use that. Instead, we're going to be using Photon. And Photon is the most popular Unity multiplayer framework. Um, there are many popular games that use it. And it's easy to use. If you've ever used UNet before, it's basically the exact same thing, but with added features. All right. So, how does multiplayer work? Well, what it is, is we have multiple players connected together, and what they do is, at its core, a multiplayer is basically just sending messages between computers. So, let's just say player one here uh, moves forward one unit, then that command, or that actual pos new position of the player, will be sent from the player, from player one, over through the server to player two, so then on player two's screen, player one is now one unit or at their new position and so that's how it works you'll be sending various amounts of messages every second um, by default I believe that Photon sends about 20 messages per second um, you can of course tweak that but it's set at 20 to be nice uh, so it doesn't have too much lag or too much problems with that so yeah that is at its core is sending messages between computers let's just say you want to do an attack um, you cast the attack on your computer, and then you send that message over to players to computer. So if there are any visuals that go of that attack, uh, those visuals can be displayed on their computer. And that is how you sync between computers, sync between states, positions, rotations, everything that you want to appear on other people's computers. That is how you do it, through messages. And we'll be going into more detail on how to actually do this in code and in script. And also with Unity's components, what stuff you need to set up, and all of that stuff in later lessons. So the first concept we need to go over is a master server. What is a master server? Well, in Photon and even in Unity networking, a master server is basically a collection of rooms. Um, I'll go over what a room is in a second. Um, players can connect to rooms in there. You can see a list of all the rooms. It's basically like a sort of hub for your game. And each game has their own specific master server. And even different versions of your game, you can specify to have different master servers. So if you're on version 1 of your game, you can't play with people who are on version 2, for example. And of course, if you have your game, you can't play with people who are in other games. You can only play with people on your game in your specific version of that game. And a good thing about Photon is they have uh, their own dedicated hosted servers all around the world. As you can see to the right, there are many locations around the world where you can uh, basically connect your master server and your game to. Um, in Photon, you can also do it so that it, for players, it connects to the master server with the lowest ping. So you can try and always have the lowest ping possible, or you can just hard code it so that you connect to a specific master server. Um, players on different master servers, though, cannot play with each other, so you do need to keep that in mind when making your game. And of course, with Photon, it is a service that you can choose to pay more to increase the capacity of uh, the server. By default, your game can have up to 20 um, players at once. Uh, with the free version of Photon, but you can of course pay for more and yeah And of course you can also host your own server if you wish um, That'll of course require you to have your own server um, hardware set up and have all of the networking capabilities available so um, if you're just starting out with networking I recommend just keeping with the free Photon version as you can test it out You can test it out with your friends with other people with testers and just to see if that is what you want and if you do, you can wish to pay more further on later in the future. So this is what sort of the uh, framework looks like. You have the master server and all the different rooms that players can create connect to that. And then in those rooms, you have your own players. So these are very secluded areas uh, away from each other. Like if, if one player in one room shoots their gun, then a, a player in another room won't see that on their screen. Pretty much, if you're in a room and all the message you send within that room only goes to the players in that room. So let's go over more about what a room is. Think of a room as a match or a lobby. These are groups of players who can send messages to each other and by sending messages to each other, sync in values, positions, rotations, animations, etc. So yeah, think of your favorite game where you have your own lobby, where you have your own match of 10, 20 players. Uh, it's a self-contained 
uh, version of the game where you are only communicating with each other and not other players in other matches on different maps, for example. And in Photon and many multiplayer networks, players are also known as clients. A client is a computer that is connected to the network, and each room has a master client. Um, you might know what a master client is by its other name, which is host. In Photon, a host it, by default is the player who created the room, and what it means to be a host is you can allow that host to do specific things. In our game, for example, when waiting in the lobby, only the host will be able to start the game. And using the host for many other things is also a good idea. Uh, if you have a first-person shooter, for example, or a game where you want to um, collect pickups, um, you won't want players to detect picking up pickups on their own on their own client, because what that could do is, if two players run into the same pickup at the same time, on their computer they'll see that they're the only one picking it up at that frame, whereas for the other person that'll be the same thing. So what you want to do is you want to put these sort of processes through the host, so the host will check it. So when the player runs into a pickup, you check with the host, am I in the pickup? If so, the player picks it up, and if not, you don't. So that only one ever person can pick up the pickup at a time. So yeah, there are many different things, we'll go over these later on, but for now, this is just what a host is. Alright, so and in the next lesson, we'll be going over actually setting up our Photon app, uh, connecting Photon, and downloading the Photon assets inside of Unity to be able to use it. Alright, so I'll see you all then.